Pozole from the Nahuatl, pozoli", is the name of both fermented corn dough and the drink made from it, which has its origins in pre-Columbian Mexico. Other ingredients besides corn dough and water, such as cocoa, may be added to it. The drink is consumed in the south of Mexico in the states of Chiapas and Tabasco. It is a thirst quencher which has also been used to fight diseases. It has also aided indigenous peoples of the Americas as sustenance on long trips across the jungles. History Since ancient times, the Maya Chantels from Belize prepared this drink with boiled cornmeal, cocoa, and grains. Initially, it was called pachatl from Nahuatl, pozoli, meaning sparkling. But after the arrival of the Spanish in Tabasco in 1519, the name changed to the now familiar pozole. Pozole was traditionally made by women by fermenting corn dough, which, when dissolved in water, is eaten raw by various ethnic groups of southern and southeastern Mexico. In Chiapas, this drink was prepared for Mayans, Zaquians and Chiapanecos. Pozole is drunk throughout the day, especially by the lower classes, though it is generally used throughout all classes. In pre-Hispanic times, it was drunk mixed with cocoa, unsweetened. Since the 20th century, sugar and ice are added throughout Chiapas because it does not go bad easily. Pozol corn balls have been used by various groups as provisions for their long journeys through the jungle. Besides its use as food, the drink has also been used as medicine and for religious ceremonies. In the past pozole balls were used by the Maya as a poultice, and to prevent or treat skin infections and wounds. Pozole also had a ceremonial importance, since pre-Hispanic times, it was used as an important component of offerings in various Maya festivities. These festivities were related to the cultivation and harvest of corn. Pozole is still used today by the Maya of the Yucatan Peninsula who call it as part of their harvest rites. Preparation Pozole is made by fermenting corn dough, which is then rolled into balls or loaves and may be preserved in banana leaves. The drink, which is a sort of whitish porridge, is made by soaking the dough in water. Common extra ingredients included chili pepper, honey, and sugar. White pozole is made from dough mixed with sweetened or unsweetened water. It can be sweetened with sugar or not. Some people from Tuxtla Gutierrez, Chiapas also prefer to prepare sourdough. Sour pozole is more common in Tuxtla Gutierrez. Sourdough is fermented for three days and can be taken with or without sugar. It can be consumed cold with a pinch of salt and a slice of chili or swallowing salt mixed with chili powder. Currently, the Lacandones use pozole mixed with honey to lower fever and control diarrhea and other intestinal disorders, in a similar way as other people use drugs or eat foods containing yeast or lactobacillus. Today, pozole is also prepared using milk and horchata. The corn dough is mixed with milk, instead of water, and sugar. This combination makes a much sweeter version of the traditional pozole. Sweetened pozole with cocoa is the most popular version of pozole in Tabasco. Pozole in Tabasco In the state of Tabasco, pozole is also a traditional drink. During the pre-Hispanic era, pozole was a highly appreciated beverage due to its resistance qualities. This was believed mainly in Tabasco. In 1579, the government of Tabasco declared that pozole was a typical Tabasqueña beverage. In the declaration, it was said that we're in the habit, especially Chantal Indians, of not eating but of only drinking water, and if they ate, they ate very little and drank a drink that is made of its currency, which is cacao, which is a thick concoction called pozole. Pozole has been widely consumed in Tabasco since pre Hispanic times. Europeans described pozole as a beverage that allowed the indigenous people to resist the heat of this tropical zone. In Tabasco, there are four different types of pozole white pozole, black pozole, cacao special pozole, and sour pozole. In the little towns and villages, it is customary to drink white pozole without sugar, and instead using salt and fresh chili amishito, or with candied papaya called oreja de maico. Pozole, just as the pocho dance, the cabalito blanco, is very representative of the culture and variety in the state of Tabasco, in Via Hermosa, and all Tabasco, it is common to find many places to try pozole. There is a saying, 
A visitor who arrives to Tabasco and drinks pozole and likes it, takes up residence in Tabasco. Pozole in Chiapas For some of the native people or indigenas, pozole represents a semi ritual to their gods. Since ancient times, the Mayans, Zaquians, and Chiapanecos from this state, as well as the ones from Tabasco, made this beverage using cooked corn and cacao. Pozole is a beverage as usually enjoyed at midday, to calm both hunger and thirst. It is very nutritive as it is rich in amino acids, vitamins, and fiber. Locals may accompany this drink with a small bite, usually a taco or epanada, but also enjoy the non-cacao version by biting on chili conserves quenching its spicy taste with the freshness and smoothness of the cold corn-based drink. See also List of chocolate beverages List of maize dishes Tejuno Poi food. OGI food. <laughs>